Heavenly, who's this beautiful young girl in her 20s, crossing paths with me, and every night I get to see that. And even talking about it now, it sort of gives me chills because it's sort of something that is not there anymore. I can't reach for it, but I long for it. I long for the energy of it. I long for the, the adventure of it, the unknown of it. But uh, that's past for me, as well as Alexandra Del Lago. I hope that that's what the play addresses, actually, because mm. you get it in your business as well as, as actresses getting it in their businesses. The feeling that you you have lost your validity if you get older mm. as a woman. I think every w woman feels like that, actually, because we're in a youth culture. You know, our mm. culture absolutely worships youth and the way that you look and how virile you are. And that's what the play absolutely addresses. And Alexandra Del Lago is an absolutely extraordinary, very likable woman. Um, but she doesn't feel like she is because she lives in a world which uh, celebrates youth and looks. In terms of your job now, a director, you are, you know, you've done incredibly well in recent years, but you are still, you can count on one hand, can't you, the female directors who are, who are a success. And you never really thought at the beginning when you started out that you'd ever make it as a, as a top director because you, you simply weren't a man. Yes, absolutely, yes. I just assumed you had to be male. Yeah, yeah. that wasn't that long ago either. It's quite mm -hmm. shocking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And is it changing for women in roles? Because, you know, the older you get in Hollywood, there's the whole thing about, are you then not going to get the parts? Is it just a, is a, is an industry for young people? Is that changing? No, I, I, I think the, the only way that it is changing is that uh, women who, like myself, fortunately, uh, can produce their own projects or instigate them to get them going because um, at, when I turned 35 the amount of scripts that I was sent was cut in half automatically yeah at 35 yeah 35 yeah and um, I was just so I mean sex in the city and, and playing a character who was actually in her 40s and sexualized and empowered and all those things was really a one-off situation very, unusual, very very unusual so I feel still at this age that I'm learning and that that I feel is is um, the anti-aging potion not a clinic somewhere and Botox and things like that is to keep keep your not that there's anything wrong with that <laughs> she says she says she qualifies